Okay, I'm back down for another session at Budley. <clears throat> so I'm again a bit of a low in between the um, the southwesterlies and all this heavy rain we're having. Um, the sea's nice and calm, lots of colour to it. High tide's at half past nine tonight. It's now half past five. So I don't know really. There's been a lot of dogfish about, and this time of year down in Budley, there's loads of them about. So. Fingers crossed, you know, maybe a bass, maybe a ray, um, probably some straps pouting, um, obviously dogfish, maybe a hustle or something, but um, ideally, um, a or even a late smooth bound, but ideally it's a bass that I'm after. So, um, no change in my setup, I've got my Ziplex um, M4 GTs, um, paired up with my Pen Fathom 15s, which have been magged. Uh, 20 pound mainline, 70 pound shock leader, and because it's flat calm, there's, there's no wind or anything. I've got um, five ounce leads. Um, bait wise, I've got uh, peeler crabs starting to show up now, so I've got a whole load of peeler crabs there ready to go, nice and fresh ones. And I've also I've got some unwashed squid, um, which um, so one bait um, will be um, or one hook will be um, the peeler crab, and the other hook as, as it gets a little bit darker. I'll start off with peeler crabs first would be um, a big uh, unwashed squid and again distance wise peel the crab I'll chuck it as far as I can squid mm, see what see what happens I'm either going to chuck it you know in really short or again I might try and chuck that as far as I can so rig wise again nothing um, nothing difficult normally pulley panel with the peeler crabs sorry just a panel rig with a peeler crab um, which is a pulley and that's a 4-0 um, uh, octopus hook and um, just a drop down panel rig which I'm going to use and I've got a 5.0 uh, chino hook uh, and a 3.0 um, on the top for the panel and uh, that's what uh, my squid bait will go on so to start off with a couple of casts with just some small little baits um, see how we get on um, I've been out fishing quite a bit over the estuary but unfortunately with this the weather it has been at the moment um, it's just so much uh, dirty water, so much debris, so much weed coming down through the estuary. So I've been trying for bass, but um, I've had a few little ones, but uh, um, just waiting for, um, for this weather to clear really, so we can get some bit of a cl clearer water, um, which looks like it's going to be next week. So let's get this out and uh, see what happens. Right, could this be the curse of the first cast? First cast on a very small bits of uh, peeler crab. And um, I get the first codling from Budley. <laughs> that, that is quite a rare f fish to actually catch from Budley, but uh, nice to nice to see. It's, it's quite a fat one as well, so he's obviously been happy eating away there. So yeah, it's nice. Well, I can just pack up and go home now because I'm happy to catch a, a codling from Budley. Hmm. All right, let's, um, I've got a squid gone out there now. I've got another peeler crab to go out there, so let's just keep it going. Hopefully, um, something about uh, twice the size of that will uh, turn up. But to get a codling, dead chuffed. Well, plenty of these again tonight. Another dogfish on the crab bait. So he's nicely hooked in there. I like using these uh, these octopus hooks because it seems to um, you see always seem to be lipped hooked. We're just uh, just on the edge there. So let's get him unhooked, get him put back. Well, after that uh, 
codling that I had on the first bite, um, it's been nothing but dogfish and pouting. Um, again, I just haven't had a chance to just sit down, so I just sit down and I've got my bacon butty, I've got a nice, nice hot cup of tea, and my left hand rod has just, just, di just died down. Um, I'll leave it for a minute because my bait is getting stripped, so it might, might be crabs pulling or um, lots of pouting down there. Uh, anyway. Nice and warm in here with this lantern. In fact, I'm, I'm sweating now. This is the Coleman North Star. Um, I've had this for, for quite a few years now. This is my one I use for the winter. And I've also got the, 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 I think it's the Coleman Single Mountain, Single Mantle, which I use for the summer. Um, great bits of kit, I love them. I, I wouldn't go fishing out. The noise, the heat, you know, it's, it's the, it lights up your whole area. The only thing I'll say, is if you do actually get one or use them, don't use um, unleaded fuel. Or um, what that happens is, like I found out with the first one, it only lasts a couple of years and it starts clogging up. So I got onto Coleman and they said to obviously use Coleman's own fuel, but um, I got onto another chap that sells uh, spares for it, so I've got some spare parts for it to work in. And he said use, um, it's called um, Aspen four and it comes in either a green or a blue so this is the blue you get it from the I get it from my local lawnmower shop so the five liters for 20 quid that lasts a, a, you know, a long time and it's, it's apparently it's the cleanly, cleanest um, petrol fuel that you can actually buy so it's a lot cheaper than buying Coleman's own fuel and since I've been using it I haven't had any problems at all with it um, it burns really nice um, I just have to change the mantle every now and then there's no fumes or nothing coming off it. There's no great smoke coming off it like there was of the. Um, the oh, it's just nice. It's just nice bacon off it when I was using the, like the unleaded. But um, help. Let's hope some more fish come up and come up um, appear tonight instead of uh, dogfish and pouting. But it's what you expect from dog, uh, Budley, really. You know, dogfish pouting and strats, but you know, you've got to, you've got to be lucky and uh, keep at it. Like I have, and you know, I've had a few plays, a few, um, a few bass, and um, you know, now a codling. Um, I love it. It's some more rays turned up here. I've only had one small live ray from um, from Budley. I go around the corner of the Sidmouth and. Um, um, it's a good, good place to, um, to catch rays, actually, from Sydney, from small live rays. Um, and that's why I have my biggest um, undulate ray from there. It was £11.8, I think, something like that. Anyway, let's keep at it. It's, what, 7 o'clock now, so I've got another two, two and a half, three hours or so. Or um, I'll knock it on the head. 